Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you Stable Diffusion XL Turbo on Android through Termux. So I found this page where they explain how to install Termux and install Ubuntu in it. Uh, also set up access to the internal storage. Um, yeah, do the apt update and apt upgrades. Install Python 3, Python 3 pip, git, git lfs, wget, nano. And in our case, we also need CMake. So from here, uh, you don't have to follow the instructions here anymore because this is just for the standard stable diffusion version. And we're going to use stable diffusion XL Turbo. So Termux has its own GitHub page. Yeah, here they also point to Fdroid to download it, but you can also download it from GitHub itself. So if you go to the releases, I think nowadays most people probably you can install V8A. If you have an old Android device, you can try V7A. Uh, if you don't know um, which one you have to take, there's also an, a universal APK and even one for x86, which is Intel or AMD. But I think most Android devices nowadays are ARM. Um, yeah, so if you're going to use Fdroid or download the APK from the GitHub page, you need to enable uh, side loading. Um, and also, um, yeah, depending on your Android version, you might run into issues uh, setting up access to the internal storage. Uh, in my case, uh, doing the setup, I saw some message that something was aborted, but it did work anyway. But if you run into any issues, I'll put the link to this page in the description of the video. So once everything is set up, um, yeah, you can install XNN pack and on extreme. So this is the GitHub page of Vito Plantamura, where he explains how it works and also how to install. Um, yeah. So this is something you can just copy and paste. The second one, um, you have to change the directory where XNN pack was installed. So um, I'm going to portrait mode because Termux works better in portrait mode. I mean, if you go landscape, then you hardly see anything. So yeah, it's a good thing that they added access to some extra keys like escape, tab. The tab key is the one below escape with the two arrows in opposite direction. Uh, you have the up and down keys to go, for instance, through your history of your commands. So the first thing you have to do is do apt update and apt upgrade. Um, yeah, so you need to install pru distro. 
Um, in my case, I installed Ubuntu, but I think you also can install Debian, perhaps even some other distributions. Um, oh yeah, the setup of the storage. This is how you start your Ubuntu session. So now we're in the Ubuntu session. Uh, and there also you can do sudo apt update and upgrade. Let's see, yeah. Uh, so you install Python 3, Python 3 pip, git, git lfs, wget, nano. And you also have to install CMake. That's something I uh, found out later. Uh, I also checked if I have access to the internal storage and that worked. So from there, I could just follow the instructions from the GitHub page of Vito Plantamura for Onyx Stream. Um, you know. So here you have um, this line where you have to change the directory. So I installed everything in the home directory. And you have to download the model file. I renamed the model file, or at least the directory, to something shorter. Um, so you can just rename a directory with the move uh, command. Uh, so yeah, once everything is set up, uh, you can go to the build directory. Oh, oops. Oh yeah, that's something I forgot that it was in the home directory. Yeah, like this. So once everything is set up, then let's just go through. Yeah, a penguin on a surfboard. So we're using uh, Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo. Uh, and with Turbo, you only need one step. Um, you can use more steps, uh, but usually with just one step, it's already uh, an acceptable uh, result. And on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it's quite fast. So it's something like one minute. Um, it's uh, at least a, a whole lot faster than uh, on a Raspberry Pi 5 or a Racha Rock 5 with the Rock chip RK3588. And I think the fun part of all this is that you can take Stable Diffusion XL Turbo with you. Uh, it's running locally. Uh, and with, uh, let's just say, a high-end phone, it's, it's actually quite quick. So the diffusion step was 40 seconds. But of course, there's also a bit of time where it needs to do something with your prompt, interpret it. Now it needs to decode and create the image. So perhaps it's in total something like two minutes, something like that.
but I think that's uh, an acceptable amount of time uh, for a mobile device. And once you have the result, then you can copy it to the SD card, which is the internal storage. So now it's copied to internal storage. And the result is a penguin on a surfboard. So, like I said, um, it's really a lot of fun to be able to take this with you. And the processing time is uh, really acceptable if you have a high-end phone. Um, so, that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.